The Pre-Med Year, session number 357. Hello and welcome to the three-time Academy Award-nominated podcast, The Pre-Med Years, where we believe that collaboration, not competition, is key to your success. I'm your host, Dr. Ryan Gray, and in this podcast, we share with you stories, encouragement, and information that you need to know to help guide you on your path to becoming a physician. Now, welcome to The Pre-Med Years. My name is Dr. Ryan Gray as I mentioned earlier. And I want to thank you for taking the time to be here today. Now, today's a different episode, an episode that I've been thinking about for a while because we have been doing a ton here at MedEd Media with my amazing team of students and other people helping me create all of the podcasts and social media posts and websites and all of the projects that we have going on. And I talk to a lot of students who don't know exactly what MedEd Media is, what I do on a day-to-day basis. They're just like, oh, you're the Instagram guy, or you're the pre-med playbook guy, or you're on YouTube, and what else do you do? What else do you have? And so today I want to take a second to really run through everything, all of the resources that we have at MedEd Media to help you on your journey into and through medical school. Now, part of this conversation, we'll talk about where I'm going as well. We have a lot of travel coming up with different pre-med conferences and different uh, other talks and things that we are doing or I am doing here. So I want to take a second to, to really run down everything. Now, this isn't a normal, motivational, inspirational, this person got into med school with a 2.0 GPA kind of discussion, but I, I do want you to stick around because inevitably I'm going to talk about something and you're going to go, oh, I didn't know you had that. I didn't know you did that. And now I know and now I can use it and it's going to help me. So stick around and let's have a blast today. Before I get started though, I want to mention all of this stuff wouldn't be possible without your support. And a lot of the support comes from you using coupon codes that I give you. Now I'm an affiliate and I usually disclose that as much as possible when I'm supposed to. But when I tell you to use Next Step Test Prep because I believe they are the second best full-length exams out there to practice for the MCAT, right? Second best behind the AAMC, which has just announced they are releasing their fourth scored full-length exam, which is awesome. But a lot of students want more, and so I recommend Next Step Test Prep for their full-length exams. I also recommend Next Step for their MCAT course because you get 10 hours of live office hours every week. And so when you use the coupon code, I get a small commission from that. And so when you hear me talk about coupon codes and links and things like that, a lot of times I'm I'm only recommending it. First of all, I'm only recommending because I believe in it and, and recommend it, but uh, I also get a commission from that. So all of the things that I'm doing here are made possible because when you're getting ready to buy something or, or or use a service or whatever it is, when you use my coupon code, then I get a small commission. It helps me support all of the students. I have a team of about 10 people now, which is amazing. Uh, students here in the U.S. I have a couple uh, people outside of the U.S. helping me. So as you go through this episode and hear all of the things we're doing If there is something that you are getting ready to purchase, whether it's MCAT prep, whether it's Grammarly for your personal statement and email writing, which is an amazing plugin for Chrome and and, uh, other other plugins, and it has its own website too and downloadable app and stuff like that to help you write better. Uh, So when you're thinking about those things, go, hmm, I wonder if Dr. Gray has a link for that, a, a, a coupon code or an affiliate code for that. Just keep that in the back of your mind. So I want to start off with just the medical school headquarters. So medicalschoolhq.net is our main kind of hub under MedEd Media. And MedEd Media is kind of the 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 media company behind almost everything that we're going to talk about. So it's the umbrella term, MedEd Media. And medicalschoolhq.net is our big website that houses almost everything right now. So let's talk about what's going on at medicalschoolhq.net. So number one, we have a, an application cost estimator. 
right? So when you are thinking about applying to medical school, you can go to our cost estimator at appexpenses.com and plug in how many schools you're applying to, whether it's AMCAS, ACOMAS, TMDSAS, whether you qualify for FAP, and it will estimate how much money you are going to need. Now, we're still working on the page. The calculator works. We're still working on the page to add some more resources and, and other information for you. But that's the first place I want you to start is the cost estimator. A lot of students don't know that it costs a lot of money to apply to medical school, unfortunately. So check that out at appexpenses.com. A lot of what we're talking about, too, as well, if you just go to medicalschoolhq.net, we have a, a tools um menu item that you can find most of this stuff. If you don't want to remember all of the different things we're talking about, you can find that under tools uh, on the menu item. So the next thing I want to talk about is a huge undertaking, something that I had wanted to do forever. And I was finally able with, again, your help in supporting me and my ability to hire Sam full time last year. She's now in medical school, but uh, I hired her full time last year and we were able to finally get our secondary essay database up and running. And that's at secondaryapps.com. Again, you can also just go to medicalschoolhq.net. But secondaryapps.com will give you what the medical schools are looking for for their secondary essays. Now, again, just a, a small rewind. If you don't understand, the medical school application process is primary application, you submit that, that's AMCAS, ACOMAS, TMDSAS, and then you get secondary essays from most schools. And you can pre-write these essays because they come fast and furious once you apply, once your application is verified, and once the schools get it. And so it's not very fun to get 20 different secondary essays back or secondary applications back, each of them with two, three, four, five essays, and you're like, holy crap, how do I do all of this? right now. Well, you you pre-write. That's how you do it. You can go to secondaryapps.com and we have a system to keep those updated every year, again, with your help at updatesecondaries.com. So that's a, a great database where you can find all of those secondary essays. For the application, a lot of students don't understand that the GPA that is calculated for your application is not the same GPA typically that you're going to see on your transcript. Your university may do grade replacement. The medical school applications do not. Your school may have weird plus minus percentage calculations. TMDSAS doesn't use plus minus. Uh, they, they just get rid of it, and it's a flat grade. AMCAS and ACOMAS use plus minus, but the, their potential is a little bit different than your school. And so your GPA is always a little bit wonky, and a lot of students always, it seems like, overestimate what their GPA is. And remember, trends are very important with your GPA. So we set up whatsmygpa.com. It's an amazing GPA calculator that you enter in your information. Unless you clear your browser cache, all of that information stays there, which is nice. You can email it to your pre-med advisor so they can look at it and give you more detailed information if you're looking for advice from students in our Hangout, which I'll talk about in a little bit or on SDN or Red or wherever you are, it's always nice. And instead of just saying, oh, my GPA is 3.5, you can say, "Here, my, my GPA is 3.5, and here's a screenshot of my trends. Right? So trends are very important. So we have all the graphs there that show you what those trends look like. It's an amazing calculator that we had built uh, earlier this year. Again, what's whatsmygpa.com. And then another huge undertaking that I've wanted to do for a while now is called medschoolreviews.com. Now, Med School Reviews is a site that we set up. We have individual pages for each medical school in this country, and as new ones are added, we add new schools. We have more information coming to each of these pages, but we talk about things like uh, class size and, and city walkability and weather and just a school mission and vision, but the cool thing about Med School Reviews is we will have a a review portion of that so that current students or former students of that school can leave reviews. It's a one to five star system based on I think 10 or 12 or so different categories. And uh, the reviews will be verified by us before we allow them to be actually submitted and be live. So med school reviews will hopefully help you figure out what schools you want to apply to. Again, I talk about not applying based on MCAT and GPA. 
So getting a little bit of behind the scenes of what students are saying about their school will hopefully help you figure out what's going on. So I, I, that's just a brief thing of what's going on at, at medicalschoolhq.net and all of the different URLs that will send you to different parts of our website. So go check those out if you haven't already. Now, if you're listening to this, all right, you already know about the Pre-Med Years podcast, but a lot of students don't know we have many other podcasts. So the Pre-Med Years is our longest running show, 357, I think this is, uh, for, for Pre-Med Years, over 3 million downloads. We also have the old Pre-Meds podcast, which is closing in on 200 episodes. We have the old Pre-Meds forms, which I didn't mention at medicalschoolhq.net. You can find that at premedforms.com. It's a community where you can go ask questions. And it's, it's died down a lot because we have our Facebook group, uh, but that's where I pull questions for the old pre-meds podcast. So if you are a non-traditional student, you want a question answered on the podcast, go to premedforms.com. We have the MCAT podcast that's going strong now with our third co-host from Next Step Test Prep, specialty stories where I'm interviewing physicians about their specialty, what they like, what they don't like, et cetera. Ask Dr. Gray, which has kind of been reborn into a YouTube series, is still a podcast. We need to uh, get those audio episodes back up and running, but we'll get those going again. The MCAT Cars podcast that I do with Jack Weston, again, when I mention kind of using different promo codes and, and discount codes or just mentioning that you heard about Jack Weston from Dr. Ryan Gray and the podcast, all of that stuff helps support me. We have board rounds for medical students. Board rounds is for USMLE and Comlex level one and step one. And so that's an amazing podcast that I do with Board Vitals. We have an amazing new co-host starting with me on that soon. We have interview prep that I do with the University of Colorado Wilderness Medicine Program and Dr. Elaine Reno, which is again, another way to support me if you Sign up for the Wilderness Medicine course using my promo code. That's a way to support me. It's an amazing course that students love. You come here either to to University of Colorado here in Aurora, right outside of Denver, uh, or they have a Costa Rica course, or they have a Channel Islands course. So come check that out. It's a, a monthly podcast that we do talking about different topics for the interview process. And then part of MedEd Media, not my podcast, but part of MedEd Media, we have two amazing podcasts. We have the Short Coat Podcast that the Carver College of Medicine does, uh, the University of Iowa, Carver College of Medicine. And we have the TMD SAS Podcast from our lovely folks down in Texas. They're rebranding that podcast soon, so stay tuned for that. So those are all the podcasts. Actually, it's not all the podcasts. We also have Med Diaries, which uh, is meddiaries.com. It's a whole separate series of podcasts that my wife, Allison Gray, started. Uh, It was an idea that I had, and she volunteered to start it. Unfortunately, she volunteered right before we had our second kid. She started a new job, and we moved, and so that's been on pause. But we recently announced on this podcast, actually, that we're rebooting that, and it'll be both of us. So meddiaries.com for pre-med diaries, med student diaries, resident diaries, and physician diaries, and that's where you can call in as a pre-med student, call in to our 833-MY-DIARY number and just leave a voicemail. Nobody will talk to you. You just talk and vent and talk about what's going on. And if you're looking for advice, we'll potentially give you that. If you're just looking to vent, uh, we'll give you that option as well. So Med Diaries is another one. And then we have multiple other podcasts in the works right now. Uh, I have one student, again, because of your support, who I've been able to hire uh, to work on a podcast for medical terminology. Uh, I haven't announced that yet, so this is the first time I've really talked about it. So hopefully that will be coming soon. Um, I have a lot of projects, and so things are going slower than I like, but we're getting there. And then uh, a, a Spanish for pre-meds podcast is in the works as well. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about are all the books that I've been writing uh, my books seem to, uh, according to Amazon, be the top-selling books for their categories. Uh, the medical school interview book, the medical school personal statement book, the MCAT book, and uh, my newest book, which will come out in 2020, hopefully. That's the plan. Um, hopefully, it's early enough for you to use for your applications is Guide to the Medical School Application. So all my books you can find at premedplaybook.com. That'll take you to my Amazon store uh, where all of those books are. 
several of the books, except for the MCAT book, all of the books except for the MCAT book, you can find at all the other bookstores and booksellers as well. So those are all the pre-med playbook guide to the medical school interview, the pre-med playbook guide to the medical school personal statement, the pre-med playbook guide to the MCAT, and the pre-med playbook guide to the medical school application. I have many more books in the works, an MMI book. I have potentially a Caribbean medical school book. I have, I want to do a, 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 book for the the pre-med parent. Uh, I have I have way too many books in my head that we'll get out. I had a huge project that I have undertaken, again, with the help of a pre-med student. I was able to hire her. She uh, applied to medical school. She got in, but she's deferring a year because she's having a baby right now, uh, is findshadowing.com. Now, Marie reached out to me. She said, hey, I'm a programmer and uh, I love what you're doing, and is there any way I can help? And I had this project that I've wanted to do, and so we've been working on that the last many months, and it's starting to come into fruition. We're starting to get physicians on board, so I need your help with this right now. It's not open to pre-med students right now, but it's open to physicians. And so if you have a physician in your family, if you have a physician who's a mentor, I highly, highly, highly want to encourage you and ask for your help to send them to findshadowing.com and sign up for an account. Now, findshadowing.com protects them. It will allow them to set the maximum number of requests that students can send. It will allow them to deactivate their account if they go on vacation. It protects their, their kind of location if they're not available to be requested. And so students can't just go, oh, Dr. Smith's available, not available on findshadowing.com, but I'm just gonna email him separately because I can find his information. So it'll, it'll protect the, the physician. We're opening it up uh, later on to all pre-health. So pre-vet, chiropractor, PA, NP, whatever, like whatever. If you're pre-health, PT, OT, uh, we're gonna have all the shadowing in there as well. So findshadowing.com is a huge project that I'm excited about. Let's talk about travel real quick. If you uh, have always wanted to like come meet me at a conference or something like that and, and come to a meetup that I'm always talking about, I'm doing a lot of travel. Uh, as we're recording this, uh, this weekend, and I'll put it out on social media, I think I'll be able to do a meetup in San Francisco. Uh, that, again, is, is the end of September. In October is the UC Davis conference every year. This year, it's October 19th. I will have a booth. I'm giving a talk. I'm doing a live podcast. We're doing a meetup that night. So if you can make it out to the UC Davis conference, I highly encourage you to do that. Uh, I'm also going back to my alma mater, to the University of Florida. The pre-med AMSA club at the University of Florida has graciously invited me to come speak at one of their their meetings, and so we're going to make a little family vacation, go to a football game, and go talk at the university, and so I'll probably try to do a meetup there as well. Uh, if you're not part of the pre-med AMSA club at UF, you should be if you're there, so you can come hear my talk, get some free pizza and stuff like that. Uh, I will be at the AMSA pre-med fest, which is at Texas A&M this year, and that's the weekend before Thanksgiving, so if you're in the Texas area or can make it down there, I'm giving two talks, I think, the same talk twice because my, my room is always full when I'm giving that talk. So it's, it's pretty fun. I'll have a table there. Come hang out. We'll have a meetup as well. And then in January uh, the, is the next CU Wilderness Medicine course. If you text Wild Med to 44222, you can get a link to that. Uh, we'll be doing a meetup for the, uh, the course attendees and other people here in the Denver area as well. Uh, we'll have the AMSA convention in March or April next year. Uh, so yeah, so so stay tuned. Tons of awesome stuff happening. And if you can make it out and say hello, I would love for you to do that. We have an amazing community of over 10,000 students now in our Hangout, which you can go to medicalschoolhq.net slash group. That's our Facebook group. Amazing community of collaboration over competition. And so if you typically go to SDN or Reddit and you don't like the vibe there, come hang out on Facebook with us. Again, that's a pre-med hangout on Facebook. Our YouTube channel is finally up and running at premed.tv. Application renovation is a series. We released six of them. I recorded six and we just released our sixth one. If you haven't checked out applicationrenovation.com yet, which will take you right to the playlist for that, I highly encourage you to go check it out. 
I'm actually breaking down applications, student uh, uh, applications from students who didn't get in to medical school. And so you get a kind of behind the scenes look of what an application looks like and how a, a medical school admissions committee member may be reviewing an application. We have Ask Dr. Gray, which I mentioned earlier, is a podcast that kind of was reborn as a YouTube series. On Mondays, we release a, a YouTube type kind of informational video as well. So we have we have content going out on YouTube Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays right now with all of the podcasts going out on Wednesday. So tons of great content for you if you're a YouTube person. Again, premed.tv, please subscribe and uh, and and hang out with us there on YouTube. We have tons of new projects in the works. We have Premed Mentors, which is going to be a, a book of stories from physicians who look like you, talk like you from where you are, uh, who have the same sexual orientation as you, um, who who have been through the same struggles as you, the same challenges, the same obstacles. I, our goal with Premed Mentors, the book, is is to get stories of physicians to show you, no matter where you are from, no matter what you've done in your life, what uh, struggles you've had, what obstacles you've had to overcome, uh, what uh, what whatever, right? What diversity you have that you think will will hurt you in this process, uh, we are going to go out and find physicians to tell those stories. So if you have anybody interesting for pre-med mentors, I would love an introduction to them. Just shoot me an email, ryan at medicalschoolhq.net. We have National Pre-Med Day that I've wanted to do for a while on May 28th every year, 528 for maximum MCAT score. So that's in the works. Uh, if you have any ideas for a fun National Pre-Med Day, it'll probably be some sort of online uh, hangout uh, thing, kind of telecast that we do on there. Come hang out with us. Uh, National Pre-Med Day is in the works. If you're an artist, email me, ryan at medicalschoolhq.net. I have some ideas for some images and some GIFs or GIFs, if you want to say it wrong, uh, for for different projects. So I'd love your help there. Premedshirts.com. Uh, we sell, I think, over 20 different designs. Right now I'm wearing my newest one uh, that says Your Story Matters. That came from an episode I did uh, a few weeks ago about the Lizzie M score. So go check that out, uh, premedshirts.com. Get hoodies and other fun stuff. I want to do a live conference. Um, it's it's in the works potentially for 2020, potentially in the New York tri-state area. If you are interested in a conference, a live conference, all about pre-med and getting into med school and, and support and education and workshops, email me again, ryan at medicalschoolhq.net, and let me know that you'd be interested in going to a conference. And I don't want to forget, last but not least, premedscholarship.com. Now, if you don't know, we started a scholarship here at MedEd Media or Medical School HQ the last year, 2018. And so far, we've had one winner. We had uh, first, second, third place prizes. The winner received, I think, $3,000, $4,000, and then $1,500, and then $500 or $1,000. I forget the exact numbers. Uh, but go to Premed Scholarship. Dot com. As this episode is releasing, we're actually going to announce our newest winners soon. So go check it out. It's a twice a year scholarship essay contest, premedscholarship.com. So I think there's, there's so much more going on uh, that I'm sure I forgot something. So I just love um, all the social media stuff too. Instagram is, we're almost at 30,000 on Instagram. So if you don't follow us there, please do. Um, but yeah, thank you for your support. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the encouragement along the way. I hope I've been able to impact your life in some way. If there is anything I can do for you, just shoot me an email, ryan at medicalschoolhq.net. I hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time here on the Pre-Med Years 